Oh my, it's happening. It's finally happening. Everybody, how are y'all doing? What's up, everybody? Coming in, watching the video. Give the stream a like, a thumbs up. Thanks for supporting your boy. Happy New Year's once again. We are four days into the new year, and we have a couple of dope news items for this video. And the first one is a big one it's been a good run for the ps4 but it looks like it's finally coming to an end that's right according to twitter user cheesemeister who is an industry insider he's reporting that a japanese retailer has posted a notice saying that playstation 4 models aren't being restocked and i quote due to the manufacturer ending production and so it looks like sony is ending production for the playstation 4 i think this is a good thing now they could focus all their production efforts on cranking out playstation 5 consoles and we all have to admit playstation 4 was a phenomenal phenomenal console this was the console that restored my confidence my faith in sony cranked out dope ips horizon really brought a fresh spring to the god of war series i could go on and on last of us 2 the ghost of tsushima the playstation 4 my favorite playstation console favorite playstation console my second favorite console of all time probably the playstation 4 was that good phenomenal system but it looks like it's officially coming to an end so if you're a collector if you're trying to find a playstation 4 for some weird reason that the playstation 5 is out you got to go and buy one now because they will not be sony is not restocking playstation 4 consoles so r.i.p to one of the goats um, the console sold, last report I saw was at 116 million, and I was um, um, early last year, so it's probably at a, close to 120 million consoles sold. It just did everything sales, software, phenomenal system. All right, next news item Who's waiting for some Grand Theft Auto 6 news? Well, you clicked on the right video. Many were speculating we could get the game this year, a surprise announcement, and then the game surprisingly um, launches. Well, it looks like according to a reliable leaker in the past, Yan2295, he has come out and said, Grand Theft Auto 6 is not coming soon. So, for those holding out that it'll probably um, come out this year, it doesn't look like it's coming out this year. I'm thinking the game is probably going to be 2023, the earliest. Good things come to those who wait. And Grand Theft Auto, next to Call of Duty. Um, Call of Duty is number two. But as far as video game sales, nothing touches Grand Theft Auto. I mean, GTA 5 has spanned three generations and consistently comes in the top of the charts and so um um it came out during the xbox 360 through the xbox one P ps3 ps4 and now it's coming it's launching again on the ps5 gta 5 and so if you are holding out for gta 6 coming this year don't hold your breath it's not happening. According to this leaker who's been reliable in the past. Look what they have. They have dogs. Uh, <laughs> I remember this scene. 
Hey, Grant, this game was just so iconic, bro. Um, um, I beat the game on my PlayStation 4. Um, I'm a little over the online right now. I'm just waiting for a new Grand Theft Auto game to come out. But if you're waiting out for a new Grand Theft Auto game, it doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon. And it's, this makes sense. Sony is about to launch the game again on the PlayStation 5, Grand Theft Auto 5. So they're going to let that breathe a little bit on the PS5. And then 6 will probably come out in two years. And the good thing is, if you are a PlayStation 5 owner, you get Grand Theft Auto 5 for free which is pretty dope pretty dope pretty dope for uh, playstation 5 owners so that's it bro the news keeps getting better i'm pretty hyped for this next news item who watching this video is a fan of shadow of the colossus last guardian shadow of the colossus was such a dope, dope, dope game. Trying to figure out how to defeat the different Colossus. Each boss, the game was just big old boss rush. It's just, you're just fighting bosses. And each huge Colossus was like a different puzzle within itself. Phenomenal game, short game, but it was a dope game. It looks like um, the developer, Gen Design, who is now, um, it, and they're, they're former employees of the um, Shadow of Colossus and Last Guardian um, series. They have teased a new game. The new studio is called Gen Design. It's a Japanese studio. And on their website, they posted an image ushering in the new year. And check out this image. It's the last um, picture that has fans clamoring. 2021 it's in the number one it shows image of a new game um this article is coming from the six axis.com and they're saying that the image has next gen reflections in the water or whatnot but it teases a, a um a, a figure in a cloak touching a, a large rock or boulder but i'm hoping fingers crossed for Shadow of Colossus 2. That would be lit. But we'll have to wait and see. And this time around, since it's a different, um, they're under a different studio name, they're saying that this game could actually be a multi platform release, at least coming on the PlayStation 5 and PC, and even possibly the Xbox Series X. And so, can't wait to see what the studio is cooking up. But I'm all in for a new. Um, game in the shadow of colossus last guardian lore dope 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 franchise let's keep it going next news item we got some xbox news and i reported in my last video on my channel or the video before that how sony is ramping up production for um playstation 5s that they're going to be cranking out more playstation 5s it looks like xbox will be doing the same now we do know sony has released numbers um sold over 3.4 million playstation 5 consoles xbox doesn't really release they stopped releasing console sale numbers once they started losing because doing the xbox 360 they used to let us know how them systems were selling but uh, they stopped releasing console sale numbers but in a recent interview Phil Spencer has gone on the record to say that he was recently on the phone with AMD's Lisa Su. Uh, AMD manufactures the CPU and GPU of the Xbox Series X. And he said that he was asking, how can we pump out more parts to increase production of the Xbox Series X? Now, both the PlayStation 5 and the Series X, they're both sold out. Both dope pieces of hard i gotta be honest i gotta be honest bro <laughs> and i'm not hating on xbox for real it still feels like the series x is it feels like the same console as my xbox one x based on what i see the form factor the control i'm really waiting on software at this point i'm just waiting on um, new games that would validate me spending 500 dollars for the console i want to see how halo infinite looks on 
this the Xbox Series X. If Halo Infinite, mark my words, if Halo Infinite looks dope, phenomenal, I'll pick up an Xbox Series X to play the game. And so both consoles um, um, are selling at a good pace right now. And again, at console launch, both systems will sell out. Time will tell Mar um, around March, April, May, June, mid-2021, how those Xbox sales are going to keep going with no confirmed 2021 big exclusives other than Halo. So hopefully Xbox has some tricks up its sleeve, but we'll have to see. Um, 2021 looks like it's going to be a lit year for gaming. All right. Also, I have to remind you guys, last chance last chance to download your free December PlayStation Plus games. Um, Just Cause 4, Worms Rumble, and Rocket Arena will no longer be free after today, January 4th. So if you did not get those games yet, go and pick them up. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. Princess Peach, time to go on a diet. All right, we out. Peace. Fat Princess. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan Plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out Swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.